Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to add pagination into our wallpaper website. So if you're following on from the previous video then you'll notice that I'm no longer using just that one image repeated. I've instead added in a bunch of images into the project just to make things more visually interesting. And if you'd like to use these images then I will link to the repo that contains them all in the show notes so you don't have to go and download them yourself, at least not individually. But back in here I want to cover a particular problem that we should be aware that exists even though we're not immediately going to solve it. And that is that each of these images is actually the full size image just shrunk down. Now pagination is going to alleviate part of this problem but it's not the solution. But if we go into the Chrome tools, take a look under the network tab and we can apply some throttling. And what we'll do is we'll just pretend that we're on a 3G connection and then we'll refresh the page. And you can see just how poor this web page would perform for a large number of people out there in internet land. Now, as I say, pagination is not actually going to solve this problem. That is a problem because those images are so big. But what it will do is it will reduce the number of images that we're displaying per page, which to begin with, we can consider good enough. So I'm gonna head over to Packagist and I'm gonna search for Paginator and then I'm gonna sort by the repositories that are most downloaded. And we can see in here, KMP Paginator Bundle, 4.4 million downloads, looks pretty good. So let's add that into our project. So whilst that's going off and doing its thing, let's take a look at the documentation, as this is gonna tell us exactly how to set this bundle up. So we've already done that piece. We need to make sure that we register the bundle inside App Kernel. Now don't do this until that download is finished, or at least don't save it until it has. What I like to do is just pop in a few lines there, and then I have all the bundles that Symphony comes with. Then I have a list of third-party bundles. Generally, I sort these alphabetically just to keep myself sane. And then I have my particular bundles registered below that. That's just my personal preference. Do it whichever way you like. We'll just jump back to the documentation as well. And then we're going to copy all of this in but we don't really need it. I'm gonna copy it in just to begin with anyway. And that goes inside app config, config.yaml. And whilst it's somewhat redundant, we'll add in a little comment there. Okay, so what this is telling us is that by default, we're gonna see five pages when we have the little paginator widget displayed on our page. That's if we have five pages available. In our case, we're not going to. We're not immediately going to worry about sorting and filtering. We're going to have a different way of keeping our wallpapers unique. Then we do want to make a change to one of these templates, which is the pagination template, to use the Bootstrap 3 styled one. And then the sortable one, we don't need to worry about either. So what I'm going to do is rather than keep all these defaults in there, I'm just going to get rid of them. Because if we don't have them anyway, they're going to fall back to those provided defaults. But what I'm going to do is use the Bootstrap 3 pagination, and that should be good enough. However, there is one thing that isn't quite documented, and that's that if we don't enable the translator, then we're gonna see a little funkiness when we actually go to render out this pagination component. So I'm just gonna go up to the top on the framework. I'm gonna remove the comment before the translator option. I'm gonna make sure to save that, and we should be good to go. So with the bundle enabled and the configuration set up, we can go ahead and start using it. So again, we can just borrow a little snippet of code from the documentation and in our gallery controller what we'll do now we'll paste that in and then we'll extract out this images section we'll just call that images which we don't yet have so let's create that just using that same array now in adding this bundle into our project we've gained access to a new service the kmp underscore paginator service now if you want to know more about how this works behind the scenes then do please check out the show notes where we go into a bit more detail about how to find out about these services. And one thing just to be clear on is we can call this get because we extends controller and controller, as we can see, comes from Symphony bundle, framework bundle, controller, controller. So if we command click or control click this get, we can see what's actually happening. We're asking for that service ID, which in our case is KMP underscore paginator. And then we're looking inside the container for that service. And again, that service is available because we're using this bundle. But as I say, if you want to know a little bit more about this, then please do check out the show notes as it's really a separate discussion as to what we're doing in this video. So where it says query, not result, we're not too concerned about that at the moment because we're not working with a query. We're simply working with an array. So I'm just going to pass in the images there. Now it's asking for the request 
and from the query parameters on our request it's going to look for a page and if we don't find that then it's just going to fall back to a default of one again i've got a video that covers this in more detail so again please check the show notes if you'd like to know more about that but i do need to make sure that we're injecting the request for this to work and that's okay because i've already got the inclusion of the use statement at the top there i think the squiggly there is just going to say about the missing documentation so just alt and enter and set that up so we have a variable here called pagination onto which we're storing the output of the paginate function. But we're passing through into the template this images array, this raw images array. And then we're also using it inside the paginate function itself. So if I was to call the outcome of this images, then we would be potentially overwriting a variable. And that's not something that I want to get into. So I'm going to stick with the variable name of pagination here. Even though it doesn't quite feel right, at least when we're passing it through, we're using the key of images. And then we've got our limit per page. Well, we only want four per page, so I'm going to knock that back. So let's give this a refresh and see how it looks in our browser. So we've still got the throttling applied. And also I've forgotten to include the widget which would allow us to go to the next page. So again, from the KMP paginator docs, what we need is this little section here. And then we're gonna be inside our gallery index and under here, let's paste that in. We're not going to be passing in pagination, however, we're gonna be passing in images. So just change that up and go back to the site and give it a refresh. You can see now that we're correctly displaying the expected pagination component. And if for any reason we hadn't enabled the translator, you would see this and this would have a strange name. It'd be something like label underscore next, label underscore prev or something along those lines. Note here now that we don't have anything in the URL other than slash gallery. And if we go to page two, then you can see now we do have a query param of page equals two. And so looking back inside the gallery controller, you can see request. We look at the query params and then we get the integer value of whatever's in page or we default back to one which is why when we first load up that gallery we don't actually need to have the question mark page equals one but yet if we do go back to the previous page we will now have that on and it works identically now again inside the kmp paginator docs under our configuration if you didn't like the word page then you can go and change that so inside config we'll pop this back in and we'll change this value to be different it can be anything you like and if we do that we would also need to go inside our gallery controller and make sure to get whatever key we've just set and so we'll get rid of that page we'll try going to the next page and now we're on different equals two and back different equals one so that gets us closer to where we want to be. We're still using a hard coded array. So we're not actually using a query at all. We're not touching the database, but because we're making use of KMP paginator bundle, we know that if we are to swap out our array for a query, then this should all still work without pretty much any change. So as far as our proof of concept is going, this is looking pretty good.